Welcome back, everybody. We are here with another triple bingo tournament match. We are on the winner side of the bracket, though. Round two, Liam Kings tearing it up in the nonstop 70, tore it up in the bingo tournament beforehand, and tore it up in the 120 star tournament. So he's he's a GSA bingo veteran here, here to fight against Saxel who did well in the previous single bingo tournament too. So we have a matchup of Titans here and we have Liam in the call. How are you doing, Bob? I'm doing all right, I guess. Oh, okay. A little nervous. Actually, you, said, like you, said, nervous. you said all right instead of bad. So now I'm like, when you said that you're, you're doing bad, you always win. So now that you're saying that you're doing all right, I'm like a little bit nervous for you. No, I'm doing pretty bad. Oh, okay, uh, good. I'm just okay, trying okay, to play okay, it up good. a little bit, okay, so it's okay, kind of just depressing. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Saxel, maybe an uphill battle. Uh, he's a, kind of a bingo ledge. Yeah, Sax is like definitely one of, one of, if not like the best bingo players I've seen. He's like, mm -hmm. when we did those uh, like speedruns live single bingos, he was. Like pretty much always getting some yeah parties, yeah so. he was killing it yeah this a is triple bingo really a different a different thing perhaps uh you know you have a lot of goals going on maybe your you know extra 120 star grind helps you a little bit on the execution of a bunch of things yeah I think it would if I was like actively doing runs but I mm -hmm. don't think that's really gonna benefit me now because I'm super rusty. Any any questions from you, uh, Electric? Um, what are you kind of, uh, a bit apprehensive about going into the race? Like, if you look at the card and see one square, what is it that just drops your heart? Probably lives. <laughs> like that's the last that's a common one from 120 Star Runners. <laughs> I feel like cannons too, but for triple bingo, it might not be that bad because you're probably going to be going to a lot of stages and getting a lot of stars. Mm-hmm. But yeah, yeah definitely lives. <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of golds that are like better in triple bingo than in single bingo. But uh, I guess uh, good luck. Uh, hopefully, you know you don't struggle on the the life the life goals. Can always just avoid it, but I don't know. I guess uh, good luck, and we'll just see how it goes. Thanks a lot. All right, have fun. Hello. We'll see him on the other side as well as Liam. Both that, that, that was Liam. Oh, <laughs> I, I meant Saxon, my bad. <laughs> yeah. We'll see Liam twice on the other side. Let's see, Commentator has done, what, five hours of commentary today? I that's, don't know. That's too much sauce. I'm getting lost in that sauce, man. Yeah, I feel like three hours is like my, like, for anything really, I feel like I just die after three hours. It takes a moment for me to kind of reset the head, but doesn't take a moment for these runners to reset that console and they are off with that card revealed let's look at what we've got to work with here already we see both five seven and twelve castle we secret see, stars we see the 11 cannons in the middle um that takes a long time but in triple bingo it, it plays decently um i, I don't know it it's pretty limiting. I don't see anything that's necessarily very good with the 11 cannons so far. Um, All-Stars and B.O.B. is like, okay, since you open that cannon. All-Stars and J.R.B. you open that cannon as well. I see it with Castle Secrets. It can be a combo, but yeah, maybe not that great. Um, one is tempting for sure with the five Castle Secret stars and 30 total. That's very tempting. Yeah, 30 total is pretty easy to attain in triple bingo. It's actually very uncommon that you stay under 30. Right. Well, that's basically a free square there. The All Stars and JRB, if they use good strats there and go through it quickly, it couldn't couldn't hurt them too much. But let's see, Bits Red Coin Star, that's a pretty fast one there. I think I would probably play with the left side of the card rather than the right side. But we'll see what the players go for here. Yeah, three stars from TTC and RR. That's a I kind bit. of like the idea of combining like a one star from each stage with star number one from each stage. That's pretty. That's a pretty gross combo. It's, it's disgust disgustingly good. But we'll see yeah. what the players <laughs> go for. Uh, Liam Kings. It looks like he is going for the bomb king. Saxel working on his bomb clip. It's 
possible, you know, Saxel's not quite made up his mind. Bomb Clip is a, a very good star just to fall back on no matter what. Quick 13 second one. Yeah, thinking Liam is probably going to go for 3 4 if I had to guess. But we'll see what he ends up pairing with that because that, that spot on the board leaves him open to a lot of possibilities. I'm thinking we're definitely going to see both of them do Fire Sea Reds unless they're just completely committed to routes beforehand. Because it, it can be used in a lot you, of different You mean Dark Gold Reds? No, uh. Oh, sorry, it's Bowser in the Sky. I, mine was putting an F in there. My bad. Oh, you're oh you're saying the bits red's goal. Right, right, right. Well, it does go really well with seven castle secrets. It goes well with twelve castle secrets. We'll we'll see what they go for. It's a little too early to call, but uh, it's classical perhaps... missing cannonless right there. Okay, so Liam Kings is working on the cannons, so he's definitely picked all eleven cannons. Uh, it's possible he saw that row three or he saw the column three. Uh, it's really nice that. In either direction, uh, the cannons combined with uh, B.O.B. stuff. He could also be doing top left, bottom right. He could be doing, like, all of those together, <laughs> for all I know. Right. Oh, fails bomb clip. Ooh, and getting hit by that chain. Chomped. Gonna be reloading the bomb. Saxel going for Canalus here. Texture setup. And ledge grab. And he's trying he to texture that... setup again. Saxel... I think he failed it before this too. He's been struggling. He falls down again. I think he already got Wild Blue, so can't do that as a backup. Saxel really dropping the ball here in Womp's Fortress. He really just needs to use that could soft be, holder setup. Could be thinking too hard about what he's doing next and not enough on what he's doing right now. The texture setup really isn't paying off. Saxel, I guess he's switching stars completely. Maybe going for Alice? Yeah, it looks like it's an Alice attempt now. Maybe he gave up. Uh, maybe he just wants to repeat the star. Oh, Ooh, and missing Alice! Axel really dropping the ball here in Womp's Fortress. He can't get it going. Liam Kings, he's... Oh, and another miss! Oh, Liam man. Kings definitely working on the Womp's Fortress cannon right now. Saxel, that's not going to work either. He can't get a good wall kick frame. That was super late. Oh, no, Saxel. And he oh! can't, can't get in. Saxel, he can't... Oh, he's fallen all the way down now. Is he taking the warp? <laughs> okay, what is he doing now? Oh, triple jump off the uh, the Womp. He's going to the Womp King now. He's cutting his losses at this point. I, I don't blame him at all. I can't believe what I just saw. Saxel, you know, he's a very good player, but Womp's Meltdown, you hardly ever see it this bad. It, and runs, you know, you get to reset it, but races, completely different dynamic. Liam Kings probably doesn't know it, but... He has a very big window here to take a good lead early. At this point, I feel like even if Liam picked a worse combination, that Womps probably evens it out if it's if, if it's worse routing. Um, oh, I, I can totally it, agree it, with that. It remains to be seen, but it's still on Liam definitely. Uh, still on Liam definitely to play well. Liam actually looks like he's not. Well, he's going for the cannon here. I was going to say he looked like he wasn't bothering with Alice, but I guess he's not doing anything with that Alice. No, he, he's just not even doing it, period, I think. Uh, because if he were doing Alice, he would have done it before he started working on Womp King. Oh, fair, fair. He can always scroll back and star select, though. But it, I feel like he's done after that third star here in Womps. I think that's a pretty fair assumption. We're about to Doesn't find out. Doesn't have to do like... any of the hard Womp stars. Yep, he's done. Uh, well, what's gonna happen is he's gonna go to Jolly Roger Bay for the cannon here as well. If he's working on 12 Castle Secrets, we will probably see him do Aquarium, but not necessarily. Alright, he's going to Jolly Roger Bay. Yeah, we still don't really know. Uh, if we see, you know, a whole lot of stars here from Liam Kings, though, we can assume he is doing the all Jeremy stars. He could be doing, like, I think column one, row three, and then, like, you know, one of the diagonals could be, like, really, really strong together. Like, I could definitely see right. that, yeah. Yeah, and then race through downtown in Wet Dry World. Uh, you get the Vanish Cap as one of your, your 12 castle secrets. Or is it 12 or is it seven? It's seven. Well, I mean, we'll see. Liam Kings, though, having a fairly strong... Uh, 
under the sunken ship here. Saxel also doing pretty well getting the clip. Swimming, looking, you know, not so great on the second chest, but good adjustments from Saxel. Both players doing fairly well here on this start. This this one's really weird because you can lose a lot of time in a somewhat obscure way if you don't know what's going on. Oh yeah, no doubt. All right, Liam Kings, he is doing something. I guess he's going for the Jetstream Star. Might be going for the Cave as well. It looks like his approach is for Jetstream, though. I think Liam Kings is doing that All-Stars and JRB tile then. Same with Saxel, I guess. Uh, probably also doing the Jetstream Star. Interesting routing choices here. Although, with the lag reduction strats they're both using, it's not that bad of an idea overall. I'm, I'm more a fan of, you know, 100 coin right after uh, Plunder the Sunken Ship, but I'd say that Jetstream is a more common thing to do second. Liam King's missing his spare coin already. Could be rough, but very practiced here from 120 star run. Saxel also about to be starting. Doesn't do the wall kick. Grabs all of his coins. All right, we have the JRB 100 coin face off. If I had to give someone the edge here, it would be Liam. He does have the faster 120 star PB. And usually, you know, uh, I feel like JRB is kind of an uneven stage. I feel like the, the people that have done a whole bunch of 120 star runs usually have a, like, a pretty, a pretty good JRB. Like, it, it's kind of like disproportionate. Like, a, a guy with a, you know, a two minute faster PB might have like a 20 second faster JRB. It's like a huge chunk of time, actually. Oh, yeah, no doubt. It, it, it takes a lot of practice to really get just that muscle memory for the camera movement, the optimal swimming, all yeah. of it. Swimming is like very obscure and uh, it's it's so different from like all of the rest of the game. Yeah, and especially if you don't spend a whole lot of time in DDD like in 70 Star, it's it can definitely get to you when you have to do all this swimming and bingo. But Liam having a nice 100 coin here. He might be hitting a pretty good ship cycle. Uh, Saxel, though, he's doing very well. Maybe actually making up a little bit of time here. Mm, Not a whole it's lot. Hard, but... It's hard to say. We can't really know for sure until they get to the ship. All right, with that cycle there. Oh, yeah. Liam okay. getting a Liam, nice cycle. Very, very good. Ooh, a nice dive. That was close. Oh, solid ending. Now, Saxel, what has he got going? Looks like he's going to end up with a suboptimal ship angle. Yeah, he's going to have to long jump wall kick. So, Liam had the faster 100 coin. Oh, misses the red. Okay, now let's see if Liam just... Okay, they're definitely doing all-stars then, because they already grabbed a decent number. For there, let's see. This is definitely a fairly different card. There's no, like, requirement for, uh, two 140 coins. Liam King's grabbing that box star here. The English, you know, losing some time here in bingo, but... It's, it's always much safer to pick English for bingo because of uh, the SSL secrets. You won't have to worry about a sound glitch. And also, if you don't know what star number one is from each stage, then uh, you can just read the text. I guess unless you can read Japanese. Yeah, like uh, Aki or... Who else? Uh, Zaya. I don't know why I couldn't think of his name for a moment. I mean, there's a whole bunch of Japanese runners. Oh, yeah. It's like huge community. Yeah, there's actually a whole bunch of them that, like, we don't even know about since they're all in Nico. Right. I found a Nico video the other day of uh, Mario Cam, the world record from seven years ago. For what? You cut out For, a uh, I heard it was Mario Cam. It was the 16-star Mario Cam world record, and it was set seven or er, yeah, seven years ago. Well, you know, maybe not a highly contested category. Yeah, but uh, there have been recent runs and nothing's come close. It's wild. All right. Saxel finishing up all the stars in JRB here. Liam King's going to be finishing up, you know, a little bit after. 
Saxel here. Saxel was in before William, I believe. He did the... I think he did the Cave Star first, but I, I don't know. Memory, you know, lapsing. Commentator's memory is slowly draining. There's Meanwhile... a lot to keep track of. Saxel going for uh, Wing Cap here. He's going for the Reds. Can he get the Twins? Good and go. he nails it. Nice. Just make sure he gets these hitboxes nice. So, I guess uh, Saxel, you know, didn't want to do Peach's slide. So... Oh, Ooh, he misses, misses one the red there. Red. Yeah. Not too bad, but... And it no, looks like the eel could come out the way. Yeah, definitely a lot better than missing one of the twins. Good switch. Double jump. Looks like Liam is not going for the wing cap. He's heading straight to CCM. Let's see what he's going to find to do in CCM. Thinking he'll maybe... He'll almost certainly go for the cannon there. Uh, he might be doing 130 coins in here. Oh, true, true. Since he didn't do it in Womps and... I don't know, is the route faster in here because of the slide? Um, I'm not sure which one's faster. I think Womps 140 is faster than CCM 140. Oh, uh, William Kings might just be grabbing one star from CCM. Hard to say. I, okay, maybe one star with the cannon is what it is. Grabs the that tree, would make sense now, yeah. slides it on the tree just enough to turn Mario and then presses Z to drop. Beautiful optimization. Oh, Saxel grinding the ledge there. Uh, you know, rocking the Tony Hawk Pro Skater strats. Uh, misses the coin. Double Barely side avoids lift. that shock. Wow. That's something you don't see every day. Normally, the hitboxes on those shockers are kind of a little bit large, but not for Saxel. It's Saxel. A little bit slow on the ending of uh, Dark World Reds, but. You know, kind of because he missed the, the red coin as well. It's all stacked up. Yep, Liam's got his star and his cannon, so he's going to go ahead and enter Dark World himself. I think we'll probably see Dark World Reds here, because uh, row three contains seven castle secrets. Uh, no, he's doing no reds. Okay. I guess he's not doing row three. Interesting, but that takes away a lot of... Well, it doesn't I take mean, the play. He could, he could be doing, you know, column one. Column right. One. Uh, we could be seeing column one, top left, bottom right. Depending on exactly what route he goes for, we could maybe see column two, but it's definitely... Oh, Liam Kings, that was not good timing on the long jump, and he takes a death there. Uh, you know, most players not very comfortable with Dark World without reds. Oh yeah, absolutely. Showing it there. Just a couple of categories now actually don't use reds, so it's definitely something that players aren't using in runs very often. I think that you should. I think that dark gold reds is probably a good call just to do here though, because if you're doing castle secrets, I'd rather just do dark gold with reds then. Yeah, if you're more comfortable with it. Okay, it, it let's grab sense. from Liam. Uh, he's gonna take it a little slower here. Okay, good. Nice wall kicks and that little firsty there. Saxel taking it pretty safe here on wall kicks will work. Let's see if they will today. And they do. Today Very nice. Like a like a eleven or a twelve second. Liam just barely getting the slide into the bottom. A little bit of speed left on Bowser, but Goes ahead and gives him the key after complaining. All right, Saxel, he has 13 stars, uh, BBH unlocked at 12. Gonna be heading over there now. Uh, he might be working on, I think, I see a red coin star in, in uh, BBH. I in the secret room, definitely a, a no-go because he doesn't have vanish cap. Yeah, that's, hmm. Okay, he's starting off with uh, haunted books. He could be doing one star from each stage. This is the fastest one here. I wonder if he's going to go ahead and grab the red coin star, too. If he's doing row four, that'd be a good call. Nope. No row four from him. Or at least one star. So we could be seeing a column two. Ooh, meanwhile, Liam, with that coin miss, having to turn back around pretty slowly to grab that in his wing cap stage. All right. Liam King's nice rollout off the switch. A little bit faster than the double jump dive. Sax will go in now for Vanish Cap, looks like. 
Liam King's bad angle has to hold back on the long jump. Not the best castle movement. He's heading to BBH as well. Let's see what his play here is. You know, I'm kind of wondering if Saxton's previous trip to BBH was kind of a mistake since he's unlocking Vanish Cap now. Because he could have definitely checked off a few more boxes there. Um, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not certain. Uh, we're, it, it's maybe a little too early to call. Uh, Liam Kings, he's also getting haunted books here. So he could just be going for the fastest star, but Liam Kings falling down. Side flip dive maybe as a backup. He falls off the railing. Side flip dive, yep. Go to backup. Saxdal is almost definitely doing six stars in BDD at some point because he got Vanish Cap without reds. Interesting. I really don't see him getting that just for something in SL. Oh, double air punches from Saxdal, losing all that speed. He thought he could dive, but it was not quite enough. Ouch. Yeah, the, the first punch was for a uh, dive. The second punch was probably for a rollout. And SSL 100 coin from Saxel here. Definitely one of the more Monka-esque parts of this run. Liam Kings also in SSL. It looks like he's going for the Talon Star and probably going to be grabbing the cannon at the same time. Definitely going to be grabbing the cannon at the same time. Saxel with that nice triple jump off of that pillar. Going ahead and soaring up for some reds. It's hard to say if Liam's really going to do much in SSL. He could just be here for the cannon. Uh, or he could be doing all-stars, but he's already been to BBH, so I feel like he would have done more there if he was working on a row one. Oh, yeah. I, I definitely don't think anyone's touching row one. So, I'm thinking we should expect both at... S oh! Liam choosing to completely leave SSL. This is... I think he was only there for the cannon. Yeah, if, if he's going for column 5, then... Uh, or, I'm sorry, if he's... He must be going for the uh, bottom left, top right. If he's actually planning on using that red. Now it's just a matter of what exactly he chooses to combine with it. It's not entirely too late to do the 100 coin star in B.O.B. And the 130 coins in one stage, um, he could prop. It, it it would take some backtracking if you were to do row three. I'm, I'm kind of doubting that. Um, I have this feeling like we're going to be seeing column one in Liam for sure. And I don't know what else. <laughs> column one, uh, bottom left, top right, and something. Yeah, it's it's really anyone's guess here. I wonder... Hmm. Right, he's, in, he's in HMC now. He's gonna be grabbing the fastest star here. Oh, and that's a bonk and a death? Yep, he's dead. Oh. <laughs> he's popped by the bolt just for, you know, the topping, the cherry on top of, like, a, a bad death. Okay, well, he's going for at least one star for these. And Saxo with the sand death. Oh, man. Inside the pyramid, too. Okay, so if I had to guess, Liam Kings is doing column one row five and i don't know Calm bottom five. left top right oh yeah bottom left top right yep Th those yeah I'm, i could we'll really get that confirmed once he goes upstairs but i i'm thinking you're right on that now it's interesting to see what saxel is going to pull out since he's going ahead and doing the oh points liam right. king's missing mips looking like elmer fudd right now oh at least he gets that grab the second time uh, that 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 one's pretty ganky. <laughs> I mean, it'd be it'd be really bad if he missed that one. Well, you see, in uh, Simply's 16 star invitational earlier, one of the guys I think missed it like three or four times. It was yeah, bad. That, that that's that's rip. Because all you have to do is just dive and go down the middle of the ramp, and Mips falls into your hands. Yeah, you had to chase him all, right, all the way around that base. Oh, right? struggling to get through the door. He's good to go. Will he go for the glitchy wall kick here? Nope, he's just gonna drop Mips, try to push through. Oh, right. Doesn't even get that text. Yeah. I know, Saxel. Yeah. He's watching for rolling rocks. And he gets that. What do you reckon? Half an A press? No. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!
All right, Lamb Kings, he's turning on Dire Dire Dogs 100 point here, so he's definitely working on the six stars right now. Uh, a common thing that we see actually with six stars on Dire Dire Dogs is uh, Dire Dire Dogs 100 coin with substar. Uh, there is an extra line of coins on the left side. Oh wow, Liam, these that, those were impeccable rings. By the oh. way, I need to stop the thought. That was super smooth. Um, we might see him go for with substar. It looks like his approach is not that way though. He might be doing it with reds. Um, hard to say. He he didn't get vanish cap, did he? No, I don't believe he did. Okay, so then he has to do it with red coins, and the, the, the star he has to skip is uh, the vanish cap. Lame King's purposefully missing that one coin. He did have an extra. Oh, missed just too many coins though. Semi-circle to fix it. It's actually working on the Real chest star. Alright, William Kings, what does he got here? Pretty Very standard. nice. Dire Docks, 100 point mark, and see those snipey strats. Slow get up. Can be kinda hard with the lag there. Probably Preston had it eaten. Alright, William Kings. Eighth red. Very nice. So and much stronger see. than the last race. Oh, you're telling me. Let's see if he can get that triple dump dive. Yeah, Liam very King's nice front sub. 120 star runner. This is like a, just another day at work. Triple jump dive, easy money. It's right into the coin. Not doing any of the 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 new strats here for the ending, but keeping it very you know very uh, safe. I don't and know. I, I guess it wasn't necessarily <laughs> safe, but controlled. Right. Now Sax was working on his 100. Point. Let's see if he can match Liam's performance. Uh, it's going to be pretty tough. I mean, Liam King had a super solid one. Those coin rings. The only real thing was him missing that one coin on the uh, line back there. Axel's doing well. Uh, that was super smooth. Jeez. Okay, yeah. Saxel's, Saxel's killing it as well. Let's see if he can keep that momentum all the way through the end. Meanwhile, yeah, Liam the... King going for... The Chess. second half is definitely harder than the first half. There's no doubt. Yeah, with all the different wall kicking tech you have to do, it's it's absurd sometimes. Axel though had that vanish cap. He does not have to do with reds, but he chooses to anyway. Has 50 coins. He can miss one. Uh, the go-to is usually to miss one here. But I guess he'll probably just end with 101. That's what the plan is. Quick execution on this section. Oh, fall damage. Not too much of a slowdown for him, looks like. Alright, Saxel, he's looking strong going in here. Let's see if he can get these two coins. These are pretty tough. Okay, kick. Kick is faster than what Liam did. Jump dive. He's good to go. Actually, that was a little bit, yeah, a little bit faster here on the back, back half of the sub. I guess technically the front half of the sub. Uh, so <laughs> Lining up the front sub, very nice from Saxel. No dust on the dive rollout. Triple jump dive. All right, yeah, Saxel, looking professional as well. Liam King's missing his jump here on the back of the sub. Very nice ledge grab. Very comparable, just a few seconds apart, if that. On one of the hardest stars so far. Yeah, it's hard to say who went faster. I'd actually probably give the edge to Saxel. Uh, Liam King's wasted time on the, the last line of coins before he started the reds. Yeah, and then when he was going from the back sub to the fourth red, there was a little bit of slowdown from his part, I think. Alright, Liam King's, it looks like not working on red coins here. Let's see what cycle he ends up getting he, on the yellow. He's definitely on pace for uh, the early cycle without reds here. Oh yeah, he can make it, no doubt should be fairly easy to do oh easy money right there he literally dived over concrete he's trying to navigate the left side eating a lot of lag there okay Liam King's and he manages a bit, it a little bit of difficulty starting it off but he's good to go going for the double burn into the hole very nicely executed you can tell he's having a little bit of trouble oh, managing Oh, Saxo, maybe here. a little bit too much speed there has to stop a little bit before he gets up. Getting in position for a quick grab on Bowser. 
Now we'll be seeing Liam Kings stepping back into Gaidar Docks for another few stars. Meanwhile, Saxel starts his fire seat. Let's see what method he decides to go with. He's not going to coins either. Very interesting. I'm thinking the only one we're going to end up seeing from them is Bowser in the sky, if that. I definitely think we'll, we'll see it from Liam, but... I feel, like we have, I, I feel like if they were going for the seven castle secrets goal, we would have seen, like, red coins here. Right, yeah. Axel, I'm... Navigating the left side, what's he got? Definitely faster than Liam, maybe the same cycle, but no difficulty getting getting on here, so good time to save for Saxel. Yeah, and with them not going back to BOB for 100 coin and not doing 130 in CCM or once Fortress, I, I think row 3 is definitely kind of dead in the water. Oh yeah, row 3 is not happening. Or probably not happening. It, it could still happen for Liam, but I, I I think I doubt it. Yeah, it's... He's, he skipped a whole bunch of castle secrets. Definitely. The fact that they skipped the slide alone, I mean, that one's some pretty fast stars. Well, they can always go back to the slide. True, yeah, it's just... It it's wouldn't, the castle it wouldn't movement actually, I'm it, wouldn't, of. it wouldn't actually waste any time to do the slide right before upstairs. Really? Oh, if, yeah. If they, weren't worried, if they weren't worried about like, the stars from this, which they weren't. All right, Lady King struggling on the the rings here. This could be bad. Uh-oh, not good. Liam trying Oof. to hit that ring, but it doesn't work out. He's not quite in the middle. Oh, no, this is bad. This is so bad. Uh, Liam King's, okay, very nice. I didn't even see any of the numbers on screen. Yeah, I can't hear them. We, like, we don't have sound, so... It's, like, hard to know if he got them or not. We just couldn't see them. Meanwhile, Saxel making his re-entry into BDD. That should be it for Liam. He's done with six stars in Dardar Docks and time for upstairs. Yep. So he's not going for row three. Yeah, That's not at all. BLB 100 then. And five Castle Secret stars. I mean, there's 15. It's He's only got to get a third. That's not that bad. Oh, yeah. He's already done wing cap reds. Uh, I don't know if he's done any others. I, I don't think... I don't know if he grabbed Mip's star. I, I think he did. I think they both did. Liam Kings going for the cannon here in what dry world. Will he go for the shocking airlifts exit? Probably just stage exit. Um... Meanwhile, Saxo... Oh wait, no. oh, wait, no. He might be doing Race Through Downtown. So he would go for that right now. Yeah, he's going for Race Through Downtown. Or maybe even Red Coins right now. He could be doing either. Uh, he might actually have to do both. Yeah, so we'll end up seeing another high jump into the painting. Meanwhile, Saxo making a much easier time with those rings in DDD. Oh, wait, no. Liam won't be doing the Race Through Downtown. He'll be doing Red Coins. But Saxo might be doing Race Through Downtown. Actually, almost definitely. Oh yeah, he, he pretty much has to. He'll probably do both. And those actually take quite a while. Getting into the downtown is pretty slow. Yeah, I think Liam has the right idea with taking one but not the other. Because it is a single star gold well, box, but... I, I don't know, uh, because Saxel... He combined the Vanished Cat utility and Dardar Dogs with Racer Downtown. I'm not, I'm not sure what the best combo is here. I, I don't think that either player actually picked the best combination. But it's it's hard to like route it all out when you start. Liam flubbing just a little bit before that kick, but and then it's Dex is working on his red coins here. Definitely doing both, from what I can tell. Red coins harder than race through downtown, so usually you take the harder one out first. Oh, ground pound from Saxel. Yeah, downtown movement here is awkward. Uh, dives instead of speed punching. Too much speed. Didn't let go of the stick. So we're going to end up seeing... Prop yeah, we're definitely going to end up seeing... Er, wait. Oh, okay. Liam's definitely oh, Liam doing row five. Talking to the bomb. Punching midair. Time for Tiny Huge Island Secrets. Triple jump dive. Very nice. He somehow managed to pull it off can be pretty hard when you have to talk to the bottom. Like, like, when you practice THI secrets, it's all fluid, but the stop in the middle can be pretty awkward. Now Saxel is going to be doing race through downtown. 
Liam deciding for some reason not to mark Secret Star in THI. And he can, uh, he can grab the, the Toad here if he wants before or after TTM for a Castle Secret. We'll also have to do 100 coin in TTM, which would be, uh... Okay, pretty... uh, Liam, trying to pull off the, uh, cannon by itself movement here, but not quite getting it. Looks like he's gonna be blasting some mushroom, maybe? Oh, no. Oh, he's just gonna start with the 100 coin route. It's probably the, a good call to do. He could also pick up the cannon at the end of 100 coin if he really wants, like, after he pops out of the... After he pops out of the slide, he could do that. Rocking the, you know, more traditional current 100 coin. Uh, there's a, like a newer route. I guess, well, it's not new, like used now, new, I guess, route where you actually grab the eighth red as your last coin for a 100 coin star. So like, like a second faster, a little less than that, but it avoids RNG. Oh, Liam mm. King's missing a coin at the end there. Shouldn't be too bad though. He could opt to get one more on the slide. He could also opt to kill a second Bob bomb later. There's a lot of things you can do. TTM has a lot of spare points. And your ability to get out of that fenced in area really makes this a lot more bearable. The main thing you want to make sure of is just that you don't get 100 on the slide. All right, it looks like uh, Liam Kings did grab that one coin that you usually skip. Yeah, he's good to go. All right. Perfect 99 there. Nice bonk into that hole. All right, will he go for the cannon? Yep, he's going for the cannon now. It's a good call. Especially if... Oh, that's a rip, though. Falls down. Could do a backup mountain clip here. Just gonna finish off 100 coin first. Yeah, that's definitely a good idea, I think. Looks like Saxel's trying to catch up a little bit with him. Entering TTM okay. himself now. No, he can't quite get the triple jump. It's Ooh. rough. It's rough. The clip is would, yeah, he's there. just going for the mountain clip. The mountain clip is very reliable for getting to the cannon. It's not much slower either. Okay, sliding Ooh. down, he can jump kick back up though. He knows it. And he manages it. Nice save. Very nice save. It's strats like that that make you win bingo. It's not knowing the fastest everything. It's knowing how to recover when something fails. Yeah, Saxel and Liam very comfortable with this game. I'm sure like Saxel probably would have done the same. It's yeah, f familiarity with just the game's mechanic and understanding how to do backups is very important. Now Liam King's in SL. Meanwhile, Saxel on the slide for his hundred coin. I think he tried to do the the C up glitch. I don't know if that works on the glitch actually. Like what is that C up glitch? Um, like basically, like as you get on the slide, you can like go for uh like a, a C up, and then you get unbounded like acceleration. Like basically, you just keep accelerating as you go down the slide, but you can't turn with it either. So you have to you have to cancel it like right before the turn. I don't know if that works on English or not. So I, I'm, I'm like pretty sure it doesn't. Saxel spawning the star in the slide. Oop! Is he? He has to jump and kick backwards. Ooh. Okay. Getting that little note. Oh, going ahead and taking that little window. Pretty good place, actually, to do 100 coins for bingo is uh, finishing off on the slide. That way you can fall off the slide. It gives you uh, a nice that, that's death point. bad in, in RTA, but it's good in bingo if you only want the 100 coin star. Because if right. you re-enter TTM, you start in the slide. Ah, uh, that's right, yeah. Just in case you like, All fall right, off King's right on his way to Tippy now. Gonna have to get three from TTC and Rainbow Ride. Yeah, those are all very fast. Uh, you can uh, get three from Rainbow Ride in like less than two minutes if you include the stage re-entries. We're we'll starting with red coins here. Pretty. Oh no, I guess he's going for the cannon. Uh, it looks a, a little bit like what a slip. Do. What he can do here is uh, no, he... no, that was definitely intentional. Um, 
What he can do here is he can open the cannon and then just go get the cruiser star while he's he's over here. Probably ah, perfect. On. Yeah. And it's a fast right, ride. He wants this ledge grab. Very good. The, the ledge grab regulates uh, the amount of speed you have leaving that platform. And Saxel trying to do Lakitu bounce, but does not quite work out. He doesn't have that, you know, easier cruiser that Liam does because he had to go for cannon. But red coins, it's a good backup, but it loses about six seconds to have to do it as a backup. And Bonk instead of wall kick from Saxel, not looking too good in the coin maze. That's an opening for Liam. Liam going to be heading for Tricky Trinos, but a lot of dust. Uh, it looks like he's going to the right side here as a backup. And misses his side flip. Ooh. Second try. All right. Jump dive? No. He doesn't want to mess with it. Sometimes you can, like, hit the flame. All right. Yeah, you definitely don't want that right now. Tricky triangles, but lost a bunch of time at the beginning. Yeah. All right. Well, I don't think Axel he has... Tricky triangles attempt. Much faster. Now, the real question is, how is Saxel going to manage to make Mario lose his hat? Uh, actually, there isn't really anything in Tippy. I feel like there must be more than this, but the only thing I can really think of is, uh... No, I can't, I can't think of anything in Tippy. I think he... Th there's SL and there's, uh... There's SSL. Delta Mountain. Those are, like, the two places in, in upstairs. He might have forgotten to do it. He might have decided that it's better to get the remaining stars and then go back and lose his hat because every time you cut the star, like Mario, like looks around. Ah, oh, that's right. But it's hard to say. Are you allowed TikTok. to finish the game without a hat? TikTok clock 100 points. Uh, you have to finish the game without your hat. In, oh. in bingo, or else it doesn't count. It's the same thing with like lives. You can't just get 30 lives and then finish with less than 30. You have to finish with every gold currently done. That's like how bingo works. I see. Commentator having to explain to me how exactly bingo it's, works. People people really don't know about it, but, but Liam falling all the way down. Luckily he is alive, grabs a couple extra coins, but that's a huge time loss. Very big oof right Saxo there. Saxo working on his 100 coin. Having a good backup, but getting back up here, he's gonna have to do you know a little bit of uncomfortable movement. Some of the stomp on the thwomp movement. Oh, a little too early on the kick. Double jump, bad angle on the side flip, and backflip instead of ground pound from from Liam. Can't quite wall kick. Has to fix it. Saxo, very nice box kick, triple jump dive at the end. Much more solid 100 coin. Liam misses a coin, but it's no problem. He got the extras when he fell down. Triple jump dive as well. Good ending from both players. Liam didn't have to worry about the coins because of the, the extras he got on accident. Saxo, and kind of a slow ending, but, you know, not bad. Not falling down with the goal. Oh, Liam, it almost looked like he was about to ledge grab there, but he got the wall kick anyway, which was very good. Yeah, and with how um, with how similar their routes are, since they're both using two of the same uh, rows, it's definitely looking like Saxel is getting at least somewhat of a lead right here. Yeah, both players going for the, the All-Stars and TikTok clock. They only defer in uh, that one diagonal that Liam, or Liam is getting over Saxel. I'm not really sure what Sax is going to do about the Lose Mario's hat. It's possible there's something like crazy I don't know about, but... I, I mean, there is wind in Rainbow Ride, but I don't know if you can ever lose your hat from it. No, that, that breeze doesn't knock away your hat, from as far as I know, and he would have done it while he was in Rainbow Ride. Like, he would have yeah, done Rainbow Ride a second, anyway. Uh, it looks like Saxel has one star lead here in TikTok Clock itself. Just one time moving starts. It doesn't take very long. Oh, wait, no, he doesn't. We both have four here. Just a one star disparity between them before entering. Uh, Liam Kings, interestingly enough, he did bottom up for these stars, which is actually maybe not the best decision because, uh, in TikTok Clock, when you fall, you should just usually grab the, the star you're closest to as a backup, but, uh, you know, 
If, if you don't fail, it doesn't matter. But you know, if you work if you work top down, then it's uh, more prepared for backing up in case you you fall down. All right, both players going for time jumps on moving bars. Pretty sweet star. Liam King's trying to do the side flip triple jump here, but misses the double jump itself. Saxel struggling to get into the cage, but still makes it work. Liam King's. It looked like he almost fell off there. Controlling it. Nice firsty. Uh, that first seat can also be pretty hard to get into the cage sometimes, but Liam King's knows his stuff. Yeah, he makes it look easy, but there's a lot of precision involved in timing that. All right, time stop for both players. Going to be working on the TikTok clock. Red coins. Nice movement so far. Okay. Okay. Liam can't quite get up there. This is big time loss. Uh, this really Ooh. hurts. This really hurts him. He can't get up onto the pet, the propellers. Figuring it out now. Looks okay. like he's got his rhythm finally, back. Finally, finally in there. Uh, Saxel's gonna have to stage exit here and go back to losing hat. I don't know if it'll pay off for him. It might. Uh, what Liam Kings has to do here is he has to open the cannon and do Bowser in the Sky Reds. Uh, I think that Saxel might have the advantage. It's hard to say because he has to do the 50 star door BLJ again. So that could lose a lot of time. Uh, Saxel decided to go to TTM. Could lose his hat. Probably a little bit better than SL. Liam Kings, he doesn't want to bother grabbing the wing cap. Could hurt him here. No, he makes it. Barely. Oh, wow. Uh, it, was, it, was, it wasn't that close, but yeah. <laughs> it just looked that close from the depth perception. All right. Saxel's lost his hat. He needs to get the BLJ. Uh, Liam Kings will die here by going to the pole. He needs to do this twice. Saxel, BLJ attempt. He's through. All right, he definitely has the lead going into the ending here because he's entering Sky without needing to do reds. Meanwhile, Liam Kings needs that. Liam Kings checking his stuff. Race this close if you happen to know it's this close. This is I mean, grabbing the toadstool. Oh, uh, he was short of secret, I think. Yeah. Saxel really gonna have to make some sort of critical error either in the level or on the throws in order for Liam to really catch up. Yeah. Having a little bit of trouble on the stairs. Let's see how he handles the BLJ. Meanwhile, Saxel I mean, making quick work yeah, of the level. At this point, Saxel's like super in the driver's seat. And he could look at the card too and see Liam has one to go and then just go for the pole here. Looks like he's going for a left side triple jump wall kick though. Punch setup. Okay, he misses Ooh. and he falls all the way down. Uh, he's still definitely he's Ahead. in the driver's seat. Uh, he could fall down again though. He might just go for the pole. I would just go for the pole if I saw that lead. Oh. Arrow platform, he has to wait. Alright. Yeah, he's going for the pull. Good call. Liam with that little bit of a ledge grab there. Kind of slowing him down. Sexel is really going to have to lose a lot of time here for Liam. Oh! Oh! That might be it! That might be it! Saxel! Liam got... is now in the driver's oh, seat! I just... I can't believe it! I can't believe it! I... Liam has punched the gas. He is in go mode. Has one more red coin the, to collect before competing that, that board. That is the worst thing that possibly could have happened to Saxel. I am lightheaded. Oh this my gosh. is incredible! He tried, to, he tried to roll out on the railing and he, he just died. Oh my gosh, this is- uh, Liam this King's- is... <laughs> Against all odds, he was down a minute plus, a minute plus, and- Liam King's the king of upsets, everybody. Uh, he has to get the throws. <laughs> we can't- One thing that we've learned, especially here, we cannot count anyone out until it's over. Liam King's oh, missing the throw. missing that first throw. Yeah, he, oh, he- He's maybe two throws ahead here of Saxel. Oh, okay, roll out, doesn't get the tail. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. Grabs it pretty quick. Oh, he spaces again! Oh, barely in that hitbox! Okay, I'm done with conclusions here. Liam Kings. Oh, I'm freaking out. 
And okay. Edge of the hitbox. I, I he gets hit again from Bowser. He can't control himself. It's coming down the throws. That's a miss. Liam misses that's a throw. Sack still that's gets that's it. That's One that's to two. I told you it's not over until it's over. It's not One over until it's over. Sack still oh. with the second hit. They are two to two. Oh. If Liam, Liam gets the third it. hit, it. wins it all on oh one God. Bowser throw. Sack still with the matching it. hit to close out the game. Let's see how oh close they my are. God. Liam pulling off a wondrous 46 55. Meanwhile, Sack still pulling off a 46 47, just barely 47. Oh my God. These runners were six seconds apart six seconds oh my gosh let's no get these guys in across. here okay <laughs> saxel was way in the lead and then liam was way in the lead i can't believe it this was oh my <laughs> i can't believe it that's a highlight Commentator going back through puberty in reverse because of this just ridiculous finish. 47.01 from Saxel. 46.55 from Liam Kings. Oh my god. What a race. So many different changeups in the lead. That driver's seat has seen so many butts. This has been just an incredible bingo race. Yo, Liam, congrats on the win. Uh, that was crazy. Dude, what my heart happened? is pounding right now. Oh my god. <laughs> so Saxel was way ahead of you in Sky, and then when he tried to do the rollout on the railing right before the pipe, he just died. <laughs> so you like passed him and then you missed a few throws. <laughs> we were like I was popping off. I was like, what's happening? Wait, it was, so you know, I saw him like I saw him finish his card. I think I was probably like getting the toad star or something, maybe even before, and I was like, okay, this is over. I still have to get reds and he doesn't. One thing that really like, hurt Saxel is he forgot, I think he forgot to lose Mario's hat, so he had to go do yeah, it. I saw that last, that was really strange. But uh, then I saw, like, he didn't type anything in the Discord in the group, so yeah. I was like, okay, I better not miss a throw. <laughs> and then I what? I missed, like, two and I couldn't re grab You got hit it. by Bowser, like, three times. Ah, uh, that, that was probably insane to watch. That was. Oh, yeah. It, it was, it was something. But uh, we, we, were, your win. we were both having trouble getting air. Oh my god, that was that was incredible. Yeah, that was crazy. Uh, I mean, this was seed three versus seed six. We expected a match here, and it was it was a match. Uh, I think that Saxel probably chose a little wiser in his combo. Yeah, um, I think my rows are pretty terrible looking back at them. It seems that you played a little bit better. Uh, not just there, but uh, Saxel lost a whole bunch of time in Womp's Fortress at the beginning. He like failed Canalus like four times and Alice like four times. Uh, but I mean, you still pulled through. You showed that, you know, all you have to do is, you know, play moderately solid the whole way through uh, with reasonable row choices. And uh, it definitely paid off for you. Uh, how are you feeling about the bingo tournament now that you've, you know, taken out Saxel, possibly the dark horse of the event? Um, I'm not sure who I'm facing next, but I'm definitely going to need to do better than a 46 or like a 47. Mm -hmm. Winner of Punkation and Jane No Gaming, by the way, this year up against. Okay, yeah. Both really solid players. Punk K is probably the favorite. Um, I think he got like a very solid time in his first race, even though he hadn't done a triple bingo before. Okay. So yeah, he got like a forty. Yeah, so I'm definitely gonna need to be playing a lot more. All right, so maybe a little bit of homework. Yeah, practice picking rows and stuff like that. Well, uh, I mean, good luck with that. Uh, we do have more GSA content coming up soon. Uh, tomorrow we have. Punkation versus J Mill, so you'll find out who you're playing against. We have Toast Rider versus Triforce, Nonstop 70, that's a big one. Uh, myself and Simply will be there for that. Oh, and it looks like, oh, you're actually playing against J Mill in the Nonstop tomorrow, so maybe you'll get to, you know, warm up against your opponent in the Triple Bingo as well, perhaps. But uh, good luck tomorrow, Liam. We'll see you guys all tomorrow, and uh, thanks for watching. I'm Pity, and uh, I've been commenting with my boy. 
uh, Electric. This was like a second day commentating. He did like five hours today, so everyone give him a round of applause. And we'll see you soon. Well, thank you so much, Pity. And yeah, it's been a pleasure to do all this commentary today and yesterday. And I look forward to everything I'll be doing in the future. And it was great co-hosting with you, man. All right. Good night, everybody. Love you. Peace. for to playing my game.